Right now on News 3 Live at 11, Mother Nature brings heavy rain, even hail, to parts of our valley. So is more coming? News 3 is your weather authority. Just Vegas, baby? Football fans are starting to believe the Raiders really could become our home team. But is the NFL ready to get over its hypocritical stance on sports betting? And Valley Voodoo. News 3 uncovers disturbing rituals happening around Las Vegas. And we're looking into what's being done to stop them. News 3 starts right now. We all saw those ominous clouds throughout the day. They led to flash floods, even hail in parts of southern Nevada. So are we out of the woods yet, or is more wet weather on the way? Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. And I'm Jim Snyder. This thing really did hit hard and fast. News 3 is your weather authority. Kevin janison has been tracking this soaker system on the radar all night. Kevin, it looks like we're done for now. I think people will be able to sleep well tonight. The shower Friday on News 3 Live at 11, Elvis Presley of beloved Las Vegas icon. I feel Vegas is withdrawing from it. Why this historic entertainer hasn't been making the jailhouse rock. Elvis leaving Las Vegas. Friday on News 3 Live at 11. This portion of... This is Boring Billy. Billy's sad because he loves game shows, but doesn't know where to find them. This is Smart Martha. She loves game shows, too, but she knows how to get them. Martha went to the electronics store, got a digital antenna, hooked it up to her TV, scanned the channels, and now gets her favorite new channel, Buzzer. Only a Boring Billy would settle for life without Buzzer. Don't be a Boring Billy. Be like Smart Martha and get Buzzer today. You'll find Buzzer now playing on KGNG 47.2. Lawyer and family. And so okay. we have. Decades. Relive. Remember. Relate. This is Decades for April 29th. Today in 1992, a jury. Okay, we're talking sushi. That's right, Saki Rock, and they are rocking it out at the park in front of the T-Mobile Arena. Mmm, can't wait for that tomorrow. I just feel like a beat in the young. I hugged my little brother. And now he's not going to come back. Right now on the CW News at 10, anger and sadness. The family of the young man gunned down inside a local liquor store is making sure people remember Matthew Christensen. Police going all out to try to find the people responsible. They've already released surveillance video from inside the store. Also, the Clark County Fire Department will be the first public safety agency in Nevada to have drones as a tool. How the high-tech devices could save lives and blood supplies in Southern Nevada dropping to extreme lows. Why Zika is part of the reason. Live from the News 3 studios in Las Vegas, this is the CW News at 10 with Marie Mortera. And those stories in a moment, but first breaking news in the West Valley, a marijuana... Five nights a week, watch the CW News at 10. Then catch the Insider at 10.30 right here on the CW Las Vegas. Now, Fox 5 weather 24-7. I'm Cassandra Jones with your Fox 5 weather 24-7 update. A high today of 90 degrees. Once again, reaching back up into the 90s. It'll be another hot day with the after. Now, live, this is breaking news from 8 News Now. Happening right now, Metro Police investigating an ugly rollover crash on Boulder Highway near Tropicana. Thanks for joining us here live at 11 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Dave Cravasci. It happened just before 10 p.m. Police tell us a uh, suspect. You're watching the Valley's News Leader with Dave Cravasci, Denise Valdez, Ted Ferrando, and Chris Matthews. This is 8 News Now. At 11. Metro police have not made any arrests in the shooting of a toddler. The three-year-old boy was shot late last night about 11 o'clock. And welcome back. And what a night in Cincinnati. Even the red... Right now on 13 Action News Live at 11, the cleanup is underway after this weekend's round of heavy storms. But there may be more severe weather on the way. 
And an arrest made in a deadly crash that left a valley girl and her grandmother dead. Tonight, a driver faces murder charges. But first, new at 11, a sister in mourning. Everybody is friends. Everybody had great stories about them. Nothing, my brother didn't do nothing wrong. Police say the 17-year-old El Dorado high school student was gunned down after a domestic dispute. Tonight, his sister says he died trying to save her. 13 Action News reporter Mazda Saidi is live near Craig and Las Vegas Boulevard with the interview you'll only see on 13 Action News. Masa. Christopher, the sister, tells me that she lived upstairs. Her morning news is constantly evolving, changing. And breaking news is a huge part of it. I'm monitoring scanners, satellite feeds, Twitter, and Facebook. Plus, I'm checking in with my contacts, our reporters in the field, the live drive, and Chopper 13. We have a car flipped over. You expect more each morning, and now you get it. Breaking news fast and first on TV, online, and on our mobile app. Get breaking news and traffic fast and first. Good morning, Las Vegas. From Channel 13 Action News. Up to the minute. The minute you get up. The Southern Nevada has awesome weather most of the time. But when wind or rain moves in, count on the 13 First Alert weather team to give you the most accurate, advanced warning of disruptive weather right down to the streets in your neighborhood. Always fast and first. Showing you details like no one else. To help plan your work day. And to help plan your weekend. On your TV, online at KTNV.com, mobile and social. 13 First Alert weather. Your family is your number one priority. Keeping them safe is ours. Action News, live at 11, continues. A high school teacher in Texas. Now, live, this is breaking news from 8 News Now. The police tape is up and officers are investigating right now after a child was hit and killed by a Clark County school bus in a North Las Vegas neighborhood. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Paul Johnson. In for Dave tonight. This happened around 4 o'clock this afternoon. We want to get straight out to our reporter, Mauricio Morin. He's live here. Carry in commerce with the investigation that's underway. Mauricio. You're watching the Valley's News Leader with Dave Cavassier, Denise Valdez, Ted Ferrando and Chris Matthews. This is 8 News Now at 6. Police revealed new details today about an officer involved shooting earlier this Now at 11, a toddler hit and killed by a school bus. I felt very hurtful. It was a baby. 8 News Now works to find out how this happened and who's at fault. Is brand new runner Rebels coach Chris Baird about to become the former Rebels coach? We track him down in an interview you'll only see on 8. Four men arrested in a series of violent home invasions. The words one suspect wants the victims to hear from behind bars. The wind is about to pick up. The changes we're looking at. Coming up on 8 News Now, the Valley's news leader. Now, live. This is 8 News Now at 11. A young boy is dead tonight after getting hit by Clark County School Bus in North Las Vegas. Thanks for joining us live at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Paul Johnson. Jen for Dave tonight. This tragedy... Las Vegas, Fox 5 News This Morning starts now. Donald Trump's campaign manager involved in an altercation at a rally. What he's saying about the incident. And President Obama is headed to Cuba. More on his planned trip and the steps being taken to ease restrictions. Plus, March Madness betting how fans across the valley are enjoying the big dance. Good morning, rise and shine. I'm Shannon Moore. Welcome to Fox 5 News This Morning Weekend Edition. Thanks so much for waking up early with us. Lots of news to get to as usual, but first, Ophelia Young joining us with a check of the weather. Hi there, Ophelia. Hey, good morning. Gorgeous weather this weekend. We've got one. Captioning on Fox 5, sponsored by Ed Bernstein. Enough said. Call in. Live from Las Vegas, 
This is Fox 5 News This Morning Weekend Edition with Shannon Moore and Weather 24-7 with Ophelia Young. This is Fox 5 News This Morning. Welcome back to the show. Spring has officially sprung. It's the season news is everything South Florida. I can tune in and find out everything that's going on. More details, more pictures. They have a heartbeat for what goes on in South Florida. For the news you need now, turn to South Florida CBS 4 News. Hello, I'm Danielle Knox. Tomorrow we will take a closer look at the stars of My33's new drama, Desire. We guarantee you'll want to watch. Pamela right here. What are we eyeing in the tropics? I'll give you a look. Plus, live traffic tomorrow, My33 News on the Move at 7. Hello, I'm Danielle Knox. Tomorrow, we will take a closer look at the stars of My33's new drama, Desire. We guarantee you'll want to watch. Pamela right here. What are we eyeing in the tropics? I'll give you a look. Plus, live traffic tomorrow, My33 News on the Move at 7. Sylvia sees what happens. The Fox 26 weather team, keeping you informed during severe weather season. You're watching the CW Iowa News at 9 p.m. in HD with Jack Miller. Iowa's most accurate weather forecast before you go to bed with Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards and Sports Director John Schaefer with the latest in Central Iowa sports. All right, it's a little chilly. Meteorologist Lindsey Riley on CBS 4 News. Live from CBS4, your news at noon starts right now. A beautiful. 10 News is brought to you in high definition exclusively by Harper Auto Square. You are watching WBIR TV Channel 10 Knoxville. The news starts now. This is a News 10 special report. Campaign 2016, the Indiana primary. Sponsored by First Financial Bank and Tafo and Spellman. Now Mike Clef and Patrice Dayton. Ideas that we offer. You're watching NBC2 News election coverage. Your local election headquarters. Brought to you by Shield Fire and Security. From Chet TV's studios in British Columbia, this is Chet TV News with Marlon Gomez.